Hey everyone, Brian here from Team Protocase, and today we're going to be going over the basic concepts of CNC machining. In addition to custom manufacturing sheet metal, Protocase also makes CNC enclosures and parts in as fast as two to three days with no minimum order. We've covered all kinds of topics around sheet metal fabrication in our Prototech Tips video so far. But today, I'm going to focus on the CNC machining side. Have you ever been trying to create a complex shape with just drilling through a flat piece of material? Wouldn't it be great if that drill could move sideways? That's the power of CNC machining. CNC stands for Computer Numerically Controlled. That means a computer controls the movements of cutting tools like drills and end mills that can cut in many directions. These movements subtract material according to their size and shape. The movement of the cutters is planned and predetermined by CAM software. CAM stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing. Machining involves using a variety of cutting tools to move through material at a certain rate along a predetermined path. The tool applies a cutting force to the material, causing parts of the material to be removed. This force and the rate of removal is dependent on the size and shape of the tool. The subtractive nature of CNC machining allows us to create geometry that would not be possible with sheet metal manufacturing. When producing a sheet metal part, you are limited by what can be bent and manipulated in order to reach your final design. CNC machining is generally more flexible in what shapes can be created because instead of assembling your design, metal is carved out to create the design directly. For CNC machining, we offer five axis mills, three axis mills, and CNC routers. CNC routers are mounted on a set table with a spindle that has an X, Y, Z configuration. CNC routers have a shallow clearance, so they are used for cutting flatter materials, similar to our laser cutters. Three axis and five axis mills, on the other hand, can accommodate metal bar stock. Three axis CNC mills allow materials to be worked on three axes, X, Y, and Z. The machining tool removes the material in these three basic directions. Three axis mills are most suitable for parts whose overall features are not too deep. Five axis mills, on the other hand, allow for machine movements in five different axes, three translational axes, and two rotational axes. Five axis CNC machining allows significantly more flexibility in what can be machined and an improvement in the quality of those parts. We will go deeper into the differences between five axis and three axis milling in an upcoming Prototech Tips video. We also offer CNC turning via our CNC lathe. The lathe rotates the part as the cutting tool is stationary. Therefore, turning is often more suitable for cylindrical parts. Our lathe also features live tooling, which allows us to create other features not possible on a traditional lathe. Let's go over a few basic concepts in CNC machining. Material, tooling, and work envelope. First off, materials. The CNC machining process can be applied to a variety of materials. In general, we machine from various grades of aluminum, including 5052 and 6061, steel, stainless steels, and copper. Out of those materials, aluminum is the most popular as it is very easy to machine. You can check our website for a full list of materials we stock. One thing to note, we can source other materials to be CNC machined for an additional cost and lead time. Another important aspect of CNC machining is tooling because it will determine what geometry can be machined. Cutting tooling comes in a variety of shapes, diameters, and angles, such as end mills, chamfer mills, face mills, drills, and taps. We will have a specific prototech tip about CNC tooling, so stay tuned. Finally, work envelope. Work envelope refers to the maximum size bar stock that we can CNC machine. Our five axis machines have a work envelope of 40 inches wide, 22 inches deep, and 20 inches high. Our three axis CNC machines are smaller and have a work envelope of 26 inches wide, 16 inches deep, and 12 inches high. All of this to say, the bar stock that we use must fit within these maximum dimensions. Otherwise, the bar stock is going to be too large to accommodate the CNC tooling that will be used to machine your part. Another consideration for work envelope is pocket depth. Due to tooling reach, the deepest pockets we can typically machine in a part or enclosure is 5.75 inches. However, this is limited by the corner rad required. Please see our website for more info and stay tuned for an upcoming video on corner radius. This concludes our Prototech Tip video on the basic concepts of CNC machining. 
There are many more CNC topics to be covered in upcoming videos, so stay tuned for 3-axis versus 5-axis machining, tooling, corner radius, and more. You can learn more about Protocases 2-3 to three Day No Minimum Order CNC Machining by visiting our website. If you have any questions or feedback, leave a comment below or email us at info at Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.